What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about uh, how to do the massage technique properly because I've been getting comments uh, asking to, to show actually how to do it. So in this video that's what I'm going to do, so stay tuned. Okay, so basically what you want to do is you want to start with a warm-up. And you could do that a lot of different ways. Some people just want to get the scalp moving. You could do that. You can actually cup your hands like this and go like this. And what you want to do is just warm up your scalp for a couple of minutes. Like this. You can even you want to just... All you're doing is you're moving the scalp around and warming it up. Okay, now, this is the proper uh, pinch routine uh, method. So what you want to do is first you start with pinches. And you want to do that for a few minutes. And so what you want to do is you, I would always use two hands. Some people will do this, pinch with one hand. That's really going to hurt your hand, especially in the beginning, because in the beginning, your scalp is going to be very tight until you break up that calcium so that you can start to move that scalp around and get it loosened, it's going to be harder. So it gets easier with time. That's one good thing about it because as you break up the calcium, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch my first video on, uh, on the massage method on how to get your hair back and you'll know about breaking up the calcium in your hair and that's the whole reason why you do this. So this video is really just to show you how to do some of the techniques, at least the way that I do it. Um, if you really want to do it perfectly, um, I would go to um, perfecthairhealth.com, uh, sign up for Rob, is the guy who runs that, I don't know his last name, um, and I don't get a commission, so there's no special code that I have that you put in, so he won't even know that I'm sending you there, but perfecthairhealth.com um, is where I started the, my hair uh, journey, getting it back, and I had no hair on the top of my head, and I do have some hair, I still have ways to go, but you know, I do have some. So if you go to his uh, site, sign up for his newsletter, and if you get the book like I did, um, it'll actually show you, like, he actually has great videos there to show you um, what he does. Um, this is what I do, it's a, it's, a, it's a little bit like his, it's a lot like his, because um, I got a lot of the tips from him, um, but I don't do it as perfectly as he does. But anyway, you start with the warm up, then you want to do pinches. So what I would do, instead of pinching with one hand, because that can hurt your hand after a while, is take your two hands and keep them relatively straight. And that way, you're not really hurting your hand. And you're just going to push the, the skin together, pinch it, and then you're going to move it back and forth. And you're doing that. And you're going to do that all over your scalp. So it takes a little while, because then you're going to go, you're going to go, you know, all the way around and you also want to hit places that I'm just kind of skipping around a little bit but you want to hit places that you don't have hair loss so if you still have hair on the side of your head in the back of your head you know you're still hitting that and you're just pinching it and moving it pinching it and moving it and if you keep your fingers pretty straight and you keep your uh, your hands pretty straight then it, it brings less pain to your hands and you're gonna do it in the back of the head too so you will do that you know for about five six minutes in that range um, Remember, the whole thing is 20 minutes long. You have a couple of minutes of warm up. I used to do a, a couple of minutes afterwards of warm down, I guess. I'm not sure if you have to do that. Um, and then I just have the three different moves, um, pinching, pressing, and, um, and, uh, uh, and stretching. Um, and so you could see, you know, you could break that up as in, you know, in the time. So it's about equal to amount of time for each one of those would be good. But you're doing more of the, the pressing, the, the, the pinching, uh, pressing and stretching than you are the warm-up. So let's move on. Okay, so the next one would be the, um, you know, the presses. So you could do it one or two ways. Um, this is like the standard way is you make, make a fish and pick, take your knuckles and you press in and you just do this all over the scalp. Now, I, I uh, used to do that more in the beginning, but then my knuckles started to hurt a little bit. So what I started to do um, I bought a massager here. Um, actually, this is the second one I have. I had one that I had from Adaday, um, 
Um, but I lost that one, so now I'm using this one. But I gotta get another one, because I like the added day one better. It fits in the hand better. But basically, what, you could take one of these things and you just press. And what I would just say is just use common sense. Don't press it too hard, because what you don't wanna do is um, you know, really beat up your scalp too much. You wanna beat up your scalp, so I would say medium press, but you don't wanna do it to the point where you are you know, really hurting your scalp. You, know, you do wanna, again, you do wanna hurt it a little bit, but not, you, know, you don't wanna have extreme pain when you're done. So you're gonna do that for about five, six minutes, just like you do with the, 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 um, the, the pinches. And then the stretches. So the stretches, again, you wanna use two hands, because if you use one hand trying to stretch it, you could do it, but it's really gonna to start to lock up your hand after a while. Um, so again, if you can keep your hands straight, you know, like that. And all you're doing is you're just grabbing and pulling a little bit. And you're not, you know, you don't wanna move, you don't wanna like rub the hair like that. You just wanna pull the scalp apart. And you don't want to do this one that hard. This one doesn't have to be painful. You just want to do this just as give it a nice stretch. But you're not doing it to really to really hurt yourself. So the other two stretches, you can feel a little bit more pain, and that's okay. Um, but this, this, uh, the when you're stretching it, you know, just just stretch it a little bit. And if you want to, you can even do the same thing. You can stretch it and move move it back and forth like that. Just get a little bit more of a stretch. But none of this should really hurt when you're doing it. So again, and you wanna do it all over your head, you're doing it for about five or six minutes. So that's what I do. Again, if you really wanna do it 100% perfect, you can look at Rob's um, website and, and go that route. You can even get his book if you want to. Um, you know, but if you want to, I just showed you that the, the, the main methods of how to break it up. You do the, the remember to do the morning, uh, stretch for 20 minutes and then the evening stretch for 20 minutes and you should be good to go It does take a lot of time um, Again, I've been doing this for over a year and a half now and I finally got some hair back I had no hair on the top of my head, so it does work, but it does take a lot of time So don't expect it to happen overnight um, You know you see a lot of these YouTube videos that say grow seven inches of hair in one night I mean that's that's obviously that's not real. This is realistic and so this is you know, it's gonna take you know, about eight months before you really start to see real hair growth uh, coming in. You might see a little bit in around five or six months, but to really start to see uh, a change, and depending on how, how much hair loss you had, I had substantial hair loss on the top of my head. If you only have like a little patch of baldness, you should see pretty good results in eight months. Um, so anyway, that's uh, all I had today. I just wanted to do it because I've been getting a lot of comments asking how to do that right and some people are hurting their hands and I just want to make sure that um, no one is hurting themselves while they're doing this. So until next time, I'll see you. If you like this video, please click on the thumbs up button and also please subscribe and click on the notification button to get all this great content that's coming up every week. Thank you.